Hi, second graders. Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy. Make sure you have something to write with, something to write on today, because today is our last lesson of module one, so you're going to be doing a lot of work on your own. So when I say pause the video, I want you to pause, work through the problem on your own, and then unpause, and we'll go over it together. So we're going to be doing a lot of that today. So get ready. Here we go. So we're going to be wrapping up and talking about what we've been doing with the take from 10 strategy. We're going to be using numbers that we talked about yesterday, like under 20. We're going to be talking about our multiples of 10. And we're also going to extend that a little bit and talk about any number between 100 and 0. Take, using that take from 10 strategy. So to start, we're going to start with our multiples of 10. So you're going to, I'm going to show you a subtraction problem. You're going to use the take from 10 strategy to work through the problem. And then you're going to tell me the answer. So we'll do the first one together. And then I'm going to have you try the rest on your own. So the first problem is 30 minus 7. So I'm going to write 30 minus 7 on my paper. Now, from there, I'm going to use the take from 10 strategy. So one of my parts is going to be 10. And I know 30 is made up of three tens. So we have one 10 here and our other 10s here. 10 plus 20 equals 30. Now my next step is to subtract from 10. 10 minus oops, 7 equals 3. We know that fact. Then I'm going to take the 3 and add it to my extra 20 here, my extra group of 10s. 20 plus 3 equals 23. My answer is 23. So I'm going to have you do that all on your own. Ready? I'm going to show you the problem. Pause. Unpause. We'll go over the answer together. Ready? Next problem. 40 minus 7. Pause. Solve it on your own. Good. Okay. So you should have broken the 40 apart into 30 and 10. And then you do your... 10 subtraction, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Add in your extra 10s over here, your 30. 30 plus 3 equals 33. Sound good? All right, try this next one on your own. 50 minus 5. Go ahead, pause, and solve. Ready? Okay. So 50 minus 5. We we'll break apart the 50 into a 10, and our other part is 40. And then we do our 10 subtraction. 10 minus 5 equals, we know that one, 5. And then we add the 5 to our extra 40, and we get 45. Good. Try this one. 70 minus 5. Go ahead and pause and do it on your own. Ready? 70 minus 5. We break apart the 70 to a group of 10, and our other part is going to be 60. 60 plus 10 equals 70. Then we're going to take our 10s fact. 10 minus 5 equals 5. We have to add in our extra 10s equals 65. A little sloppy, but you got it. Good. All right, let's do one more. 80 minus 8. Go ahead and pause and solve. Unpause when you're ready. Ready? 80 minus 8. We're going to break apart the 80. Take from 10. 10. And our other part is 70. 70 plus 10 equals 80. We take our 10's fact. 10 minus 8 equals, we know that, as 2. Then we're going to take our whoop, extra 10's over here. 70 plus 8 equals, oh, 70 minus 8. Oh my goodness. 70 minus. Blah, blah, blah. 70 plus 2. That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention. 70 plus 2 equals 72. And there's our answer. Excellent. All right. I'm going to skip these. Okay. Then yesterday, we talked about taking from 10 from numbers under 20. So when we do this, we start by taking 10. So when we break 13 apart, we have 1 10 and 3 1s. So here's our 10. Then we do the same next step. Solve for what we know. 10 minus 8 is 2. Then we take our 2 and add in our extra once. 2 plus 3 equals, and our answer is 5. Now we're going to intensify it a little bit. 
use the same strategy, but now we're going to do it with numbers over 20. Here we go. Okay, we have the number 23. Take out the 10. Okay, take out the 10. So now we know we have one 10 left in 23, right? We took out the 10 in 23. Now we know we have one 10 and three extra ones. If you need to draw a picture, so draw 23 out, totally fine. I'm gonna take out a 10 and I have 13 left. If that helped you make sense of it, do that, okay? Started with 23, we're gonna do our take from 10 strategy, take out a 10, there's our 10, and our other part is 13. Solve the same way, 10 minus eight, we know is two, and then we're gonna add the two to our other part over here, 13. 13 plus two is 15, much easier to solve that way. So our answer is 15. Okay, let's try again with another set. I'm gonna start off by taking 10. So our number is 43. So I'm going to draw 43 using tens and ones to make it a little bit easier for myself to understand. So here's 43. I'm going to take 10. Now, what I have left over is 10, 20, 30, 33. My one stayed the same because I just took a 10 off, right? Here's 43. Take off a 10. 33. Then I do the same thing I've been doing, 10 minus 8. Do that tens fact. Now, I'm, I have a big number here, but it's still going to be easier to add. 33, 34, 35. Add on that too. Okay? All right, just because the number is bigger, we still have those same strategies that we can use to solve. You guys got this. All right, let's try again. 15 minus 7. We've been doing this. Break apart the 15. Take out a 10. Solve the rest on your own. Go. Ready? All right, let's go over it. 15 minus, blah, blah, blah. 15 minus 7. We're going to break apart 15. We took out our 10. We have 5 extra ones. We know that. Minus 7. So we're going to do 10 minus 7. We know that equals 3. And then we're going to add what? 5 plus 3 to get to 8. Good. So our answer is 8. Now, this next one, we're going to amp it up a little bit. It's going to be over 20. I want you to pause and solve this on your own. Go. Ready? Okay. So when our number is 25. I'm just going to draw the tens and ones so that I know. Here's 25. I'm going to take out a 10 and I put that in my number bond. My other part is 15. Okay. Same next step as always. 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. Then I'm going to take the 3 and add it to my other part of 15. 15, 16, 17, 18. So my answer is very good. All right, try this next one on your own. Pause, go. Ready? Let's go over it. This one we're used to. We have the 14. We take 10 from 14. So one of our parts is 10, and then we have our four extra ones. Same first step, 10 minus 9. 10 minus 9 is 1, and then we add what? Our extra ones to get... Try this next one, higher number, on your own. Ready? Go. Okay, let's go over it together. Three, four, five, six. I'm drawing my tens and ones so that it's easier for me to break out and take out ten. So here's my tens and ones. Sixty-four is my number. So I'm going to take out ten. Okay? Now my other part of my number bond is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 54. The ones stay the same. So I have 10 and 54. I'm going to do the same thing I always do first. Take out, do my 10s fact. 10 minus 9 is 1. Now my other part is this big number 54. But the only thing I'm adding to that 54 is 1. 54 plus 1, that's super easy. 55. And we got it. Good job. That's it. So you're just using what you know when you're applying it to bigger numbers. Always draw a picture if you don't know. It helps me figure it out so I don't mess it up. So your problem set today is going to be going over these facts. It's going to start you off easy with a 12 minus 9, take out the 10, and then go from there. 
solve it with those steps. Then it gets a little bit harder. We have 42, we have 53, we have 84, and we have a word problem. Solve it the same way. Use your strategies. Take out 10, find your other part, subtract, and add. You got this. If you need any help, let me know. Otherwise, I think you're going to do great. Use pictures to help you. And I will see you guys next time. Great job on module one. See you later.